Hi, this is Fred with Quality One Engravers. I've got this artwork or this job sent from a customer and um, I can see it has a couple of bitmaps on either side. Uh, they both seem to look okay in their mirror images, but in Engrave Lab, all you have to do is just double click on it and it brings up uh, palettes for doing vectorization. Now, I typically don't do too much vectorization in Engrave Lab. I don't really like uh, black and white. I like grayscale. And I'll typically do stuff like this either by hand or I send it to India to get done. But anyways, let's see what it does. Um, I'm going to just make it long lines and curves. And right here, this is the vectorization. And you can see it did it pretty quickly. Now if I click here and then click here, you can see I've selected a little bit outside and I can just either drag that out and that's going to drag out the, the bitmap and not the uh, vectorization. So I'm going to just delete that. Double click on this one and do the same thing here. Or I could have mirrored it. Let's see, what did I get here? F7. Okay, and then close and move this out and leave just the bitmap. Okay, and now this should be ready to engrave. Uh, if you were planning on filling this with Engrave Lab, you would have to number one use an extremely small cutter, and you'd probably even have issues doing doing the fill but certainly the center area would feel fine so I'm going to select just this and let's see it's only inch and a half high so engrave create tool path fill I'm going to select a um, I'll start with an 010 cutter cut inline last and I'll select P10 and have my overlap be about 25% and sweep tool down and say OK. And there's the fill. I want to look at it. And of course I would engrave just this with a 10 cutter. Hope this helps.